So, okay, um, I don't know if I have told you this, but, uh... Are you gonna say the homeless one? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because I feel, I mean, that's not, like, the only, that's not, that's a, this, that's an explanation of, well, like, Inception why probably, how I got to this. Well, Inception probably made you think of it, no? Well, yeah, kind of, because I was trying to tell my friend about, well, let me start at the beginning, because okay. it, it won't make any sense. So this lady came to my school and was telling us about, um, she was, she's this homeless lady who was, like, traveling across the country collecting cans for homeless people and socks because, like, they need food and apparently socks are, like, the most important thing. And, um, and she, like, left home with, like, $80 and was traveling across the country and just, like, by the kindness of people to, like, help her pay for gas to, like, collect all these cans. And she's, like doing this amazing thing, like, saving so many people because, like, of just the kindness of people that she's going by, and, I don't know, just, like, I thought she was doing a great thing and, like, changing the world, and I was like, like, wow, you know, that's, I want to do something as, like, great as that, I mean, maybe better, I don't know, but, you know what I mean, like, she's changing the world by... And she didn't. She didn't have that much to start with, and she still like reached this great potential when it seemed like she didn't have any, because she lost her job and everything. And wait, wait. It's now it's funny that Dad's being led on the wrong path. He's seeing a different conclusion than you're the one you're going to get to. <laughs> okay. Anyway. I, th I think that's cool. That's yeah. exciting. Okay. Anyway. Like the story now has developed to lead you to think something that is not what she means. Do I need to sit down? Just listen. No, no, it's gonna it's gonna be over in a second. Yeah. Right. So, anyways, she was saying all this, and I was just like, I was paying such good attention. Like, this is great. I need to like take all of her advice and what she says. And then she's like, I couldn't have done any of this without God, and I just want to thank Him more than anybody else. And I just kind of like my heart just like dropped, and I was like. Like, what are you talking about? You have this potential, and you're just giving all your credit away. Like, you did this great thing, and you don't even, like, know how great you are. And I just think about it, like, people, when good things happen, they don't even realize, like, that it's good, or that it's them, and that they can do this on their own. And, like, I, I don't know, I was just thinking about this a lot, like, thanking God. And then I try and tell someone else about it. And I'm like, and I tell them the story, and I, and I like, go on and on about it, because I was, it just, like, changed my perspective a lot of things. And then they're just like, oh, I mean, and they don't even, like, have a response. They're like, oh, I know this is important to you, or that you're really interested in that, but I don't think about it, or, like, or I've never... I don't really understand what you're saying, and I know it's important to you, and that's great that you feel so strongly, but they just don't, they don't understand, and it's, I just try and tell people, and it's like they don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> and this is just one thing, but it's the one thing that led me to this, that just, there aren't people who I understand all the time, and I just expect them to, because, especially if they're close with me, because I feel like, I can tell them whatever and they'll understand what I'm trying to say or like how I feel or they'll care to the same levels I do but they they don't and they never do and it's kind of just I don't know it's like what Mac is saying and that people understanding things like you tell them and they just don't feel the same like inception I mean I know you don't feel like that and that's not like that's just how you feel. And I went to go tell my friend about it, how I, like, was, I don't know, I was disappointed that my dad didn't see it the way I did. And and they were just like, yeah, I probably would I feel the same way, and they haven't seen it. And I, I don't know, I kind of, I didn't, I just went off on, like, dreams and reality and how the movie said, like, everything that I try, that I, like, think about dreams and reality and they just didn't get it what like at all and then they just like changed the subject and it was like it, I don't know it just brought me back to that and I couldn't and then I started crying and I don't know why and then so I talked to Mac and then mom came in and then 
And then here we are. And then here we are. <laughs> okay. And so it's not good or bad, it's just like, this is what it is, and I don't know what to do about it. And I feel like Mac and I have had this conversation before, <laughs> because, I mean, I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was something like, people don't, there aren't always people like you that, like, think about things or want to understand things or something like, I don't, I can't remember, it was, like, it was a long time ago, but... I don't know, I just know Mac like when... always understands that kind of thing. Like feeling really strongly about something and like wanting to tell people and they don't listen, listen or get it or... I don't know, you don't have to like agree, but I just want you to like feel something. Or care. <sighs> But why are you concerned that other people think or understand what you're thinking? Because this... then you don't feel like alone. I don't yeah. know. This, this is called loneliness. Mm. It's, uh, did you watch Donnie Darko, right? Yeah. Now, I, I have never seen that movie, but I think that's what this movie, that's what the movie is about. That, uh, ha having an identity as for who you are, you are condemned to be lonely because nobody else in the world is who you are. Mm -hmm. So nobody else can truly understand the things that you go through that you think about. And when you come to somebody and want to talk about something very deep to you, unfortunately, you are the only one that really you can talk to. Mm -hmm. That's what existential loneliness means. Oh, how am I raising such deep philosophical children? Is yeah, that, that's a question that I... That's, I, I know, I think yeah. about too. <laughs> how, how, how did, no, especially, like, during this, like, these talks, like, the response Dad gives and the response Mac gives, and I'm just like, how did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm not influenced, like, or how you influence me. Well, you can blame me if you're upset. It's okay. Or if you're happy, you can give me credit. I'll take it either way. I'm not giving credit to anyone but myself. <laughs> Maybe Mac, but... <laughs> oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> I get nothing, huh? I did it myself. You are really like God. You... It was not you, it was me. <laughs> it was because you created me. I still, I worked for everything.